Tak. In this tutorial, we will study about indirect communication in message passing system. So, in previous tutorial, we studied about direct communication in message passing system. So, what happens in indirect communication in message passing system? In this case, the two processes cannot communicate directly with each other, right? They have to use a mailbox, right? In uh, indirect communication, in the message passing system, the mailbox is used. Suppose a process P has to send a message to process Q. Then process P will send that message to mailbox and process Q will receive that message from the mailbox. In this case, send and receive primitives are defined like this. Here A is the name of mailbox. See, send A message. It means send a message to mailbox A receive a message it means receive message from mailbox a now right so what is a mailbox mailbox can be viewed as an object in which the messages can be placed by process and from which messages can be removed by process the mailbox can be owned by a process or it can be owned by operating system if a mailbox is owned by a process, then it means that the mailbox is the part of address space of that process. Suppose there is a process P and it owns a mailbox, then it means mailbox is the part of the address space of process P. So if a mailbox is owned by a process, then in that case processes can be distinguished as owner and user the process which owns the mailbox is the owner of the mailbox and owner can only receive messages from the mailbox and user can only send message to the mailbox now what happens in a case if mailbox is owned by operating system in this case what happens mailbox is not a part of address space of any process so in this case the operating system must provide a mechanism to allow a process to create a new mailbox send and receive messages through the mailbox and delete the mailbox so the process which creates the mailbox is the owner of that mailbox by default initially only owner can receive messages from the mailbox now what happens this uh, ownership and uh, privilege of receiving messages from the mailbox can be transferred to another process by using appropriate system call right so by using appropriate system call the ownership of the mailbox and uh, privilege of receiving messages from the mailbox can be assigned to some another process also